Hey, it's your boy. You, it's your boy Domination. I'm back again. Again, the only place you're gonna get it. Only place. 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 Only place you're gonna get it. It's only place you're gonna get it. It's right back at the base. Trouble the dudes is how we do with Texas babies, man. That Dallas back. You know what it is, ladies. Get at me. I get at y'all. You know I change them. You know how to go. All right. All right. Real women rise up, fake women rise down. All right, and a real and a, and a real man ain't handling his business. He ain't a real man. All right, ladies, don't forget that. And fellas, fellas, get your grind up, get your paper up. I'm speaking for the real man, not the fake man, but the real man that's doing something. The fake man ain't gonna do anything. All right, and take care of your kid, take your woman. All right, cause a, cause a real woman ain't handling her business. She's not a real woman. All right, don't forget that, fellas. All right. And I know we talk about issues, struggles, and pain, and, and all this stuff was going on. But this topic I'm going to talk about, man, we in a re recession. And what, you know, what's next? What now, what's next, man? I got to really talk about this because something is, lately, something is on my mind. Now, let, let me ask y'all something, man. I don't know if y'all watch uh, Road Martin, Washington watch or whatever it is on TV one and they was basically was talking about you know they in this uh, 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 the session about jobs and you know college marriage you know and stuff like that and education politics racism stuff like that to the young to old to rich to poor to gay and straight whatever now Something is really on my line lately, man. Something is really on my line because I didn't, I didn't see this, the that whole Obama thing that they was talking about. It was in, in uh, college university. I never knew about it, but I knew something was going to begin to happen because a lot of people got mad when Obama saying about he saying about the people are lazy, black folks are lazy. I mean, stop complaining. And, and, you know, take off your slipper and put your marching shoes. You know, marching with me. I mean, I don't want to say this much, but I'm going to say it like this. This, 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 this mother sucker got a lot of nerve, man. This motherfucker got a lot of nerve saying this. I'm going to say it like this. Lazy, lazy. What the hell he's doing in the White House? But like I said again, man, you know, I'm going to say it like this, man. What else is new, you know? And, you know, and I, I'm really disappointed because that show you right there, man. We live, in, we, we live in America, you know, there is no man's land, no woman's land. It, it just sad to me, man. We live in this whole pretend game. Like everything is whole pretend, everything. Everything is going on. This whole shit is real, man. I don't even watch television anymore. If you honest with I don't, I don't even know when the last time I watched television. I couldn't even tell you. I wouldn't care less what's going on. Because I know too much information that I know already. And what scares me the most, what what's going to be now? And I know 2012, it, it might not be a bit that 2012 to talk about, but I will tell you this, folks. It's going to be a bit 2012. It's going to get ugly in 2012 when the election come in. I already know that for a fact. I already know it. If Obama win the second term or don't. But frankly, you might be is. Then again, might not. I wouldn't care less. I never get involved in politics. Because this world is so, is so bullshit, man. Everything, the politics, the people... The, the men, the women, everything, man, everything, the music, everything was going on. But you know what, man, I, this will be my last time speaking about but make sure y'all check them in a couple of months called American Cabinets. It's going to be my last time speaking about politics, and I'm not going to speak about it anymore because fuck this shit what we have in the white, I mean, we have in the office right now, man. Because it, it's sad because America's not on top of everything like it should, man. But I'm telling you like this, we, we live in a recession right now. And everybody, don't, it, people don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, you don't know, we all don't know what's going to happen. 
in 2012. But I know something is not going to be very good if we don't do things now. But everybody else, we, we too busy being silent and being afraid, not speaking anything about it. But I'm telling you like this, even though I'm not, I'm glad I don't have no kids. I'm 25 and as soon as I get myself together, focus on me right now, I wouldn't care less. I mean, it's sad, man. It's sad. You got people who education are, are sinking all the way down. People losing their homes. People can't afford them, no place to live, no place to go. The money going crease, everything going crease. And all this stuff was going on right now. It's, it's wholly ridiculous, man. But I'm going to tell you like this, man. You know, I, I, I'm I worried about something. Not only is what everything else is going on, but I'm worried about my niece, man. Because something tells me, you know, how people go on that teenage phase. She went to a place or somewhere to a beauty shop or whatever, and I think she was just buying something or earring, but I think it was, I, I thought it was an earring, but it was a tongue ring. Like, when I heard that, it shook my head. Because that tell you right there, that explains why these these teenage pregnancies so goddamn high. Because these women ain't growing up in the household. That's why these women keep choosing the wrong type of men. And, and women, were, but they still been brainwashed, they've been used, that never meant to say, you know what, I chose the wrong man. They never meant... I mean, I, I just want to ask ladies sometimes, why do they act this way? I just want to ask them. Because you want to claim all men are the same. If that's how you feel, then you need to leave these type of attractive men alone and find something that's what you offer to self-worth you looking for. But as soon as they offer what they're looking for, what do they do? They, they mess that up. And they think they can run the game on that man. But let it be some fool smoking weed not doing anything, pants second of all, like he like he got dick in his ass for months, you know, cleaning prison dirty drawers or whatever. And this is what women like nowadays. And then spreading on to them, spreading on other men. I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm glad I don't got no children. I want to have children, but I decided not having children, not to get married. Because the way these women is nowadays, these women, they out of control, man. They really out of control. They don't know what the hell they want. These men out of control. But I'm gonna say to you fellas, man, you look what you, you look what y'all did, fellas. You screw their heads up. Now all of a sudden they stop being ladies and they don't know what to pre present themselves anymore. I tell you like this. I hope my niece don't get pregnant because the reason why tongue ring is unacceptable for a young girl like that. But you know how young girls coming up, they always try to fit in. And it's sad, man. You know, you got sisters out there wearing weaves and wigs, man, different colors, and, and have the self-hate mentality. They still affected the Willie Lynn syndrome, especially the sisters. And brothers affected that Willie Lynn syndrome. The brothers and sisters both messed up. Brothers and sisters are not kings and queens anymore. And I don't think we're going to live in a long for 100 years if we keep going any further we are to now. I'm going to tell you like this, and it's sad, man. It's sad they teaching this mentality. Sisters are the only ones who run this mentality wearing weave in, in different color hair that I know. I don't see every white woman or, or, or a Latina woman, any other woman wearing fake hair. Uh, only but sisters. But decent sisters wear their real hair. I like natural hair instead of the fake hair. I can't stand fake hair. I can't stand it because they try to be like someone else. No. All right. And after all this stuff, as I've said before, after all this stuff was going on, man, I, I decided, man, not to have kids, not to have children, because I'm really tired of this. I'm really tired of it because, and that person who's watching my video, she needs to stop watching my videos now, because I ain't got nothing to say to that person. Because I'm gonna move my life and spoil my option, because it, it, it's sad what's going on, man. I mean, it's gonna be my last time speaking about this rent, because it's ridiculous. You know, after all this stuff was going on, man, 
But you got some of these people who are afraid to speak things out on this. Now, they just doing this whole pretend game, man. I just think marriage ain't for me right now. Kids ain't for me right now. Because I got nieces and nephews I'm worrying about right now. Because they live in a world that everything is don't come out fairly. It's not, man. And I can't wait for the years to come. Soon as I get my money, man, right, and find something else to do, I'm getting out of the United States of America. Because America out here is like a red, red zone out here. It really is, man. When you step on it, you just don't know who you're stepping on to. You know? Uh huh. Alright. I mean, I'm just really tired of it, man. I'm really tired of what's going on, and you know, I decided I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get children. I'm scared to get children because, be honest with you, because the way these women out here, they not, they need to start being more honest about their actions and what they're doing, and men need to be more honest about their actions, because all you're doing is you're making other men look bad. That's all the fuck you're doing. And you make it more hard. Y'all the same man these women fucking complaining about. I wouldn't complain about it because it's time and go, man. Life's got to go on sooner or later. Life's too goddamn short. Because why I want to respond to a person, somebody don't respect me, it's not even the worth the pen. Especially it's not worth defending this country. This country do some evil shit behind every decades and years until this day and still it does, man. Like I said, man, and in other video, is is evil begin it begin with the good in the end. You you love the world so much and you but it, the devil got you so blind you don't even see it. Don't believe everything that you hear on television, young young ladies, young fellas. And that's close to anybody. Don't believe everything these politicians, these presidents that tell you stuff. You got to find out the own truth for your own self. And don't believe everything these, these music videos and all this other stuff saying and saying things to you. Do you find a truth for yourself? Because people going to follow people what they want to hear. They ain't going to fall for the folks that people like you and me, that what they need to hear because they're not going to go for it. I'm just not going to dumb myself down just to get accepted. I'm going to find and make my own place of the world to set me for who I am. Everybody else, that couple people stay down with me, much love for y'all. But everybody else who don't da stay down with me, fuck y'all. That's how far as that's going to go. And, I'm gonna, and stick by a robot with the haters. You know how that goes, man. You know, you know, uh, uh, y'all y'all going to, uh, 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 Y'all gonna uh, shine my shoes while I'm shining. Because after all this stuff, man, be be well aware what 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 you what what's right in front of you instead of uh, uh, right behind you. Because you never know. Everything this world is not be expected. But you know what? At least I got some condoms. I might be with a lot of women, and hey, go back to because if I can't have wife and kids and do anything, I'm gonna try to find something else. And has has some common be with women, but I'm gonna be, be careful. Cause having women, having wife, man, everything is fucked up. The whole family unit is so messed up in so many ways. I mean, Obama got a lot of nerve just saying this stuff, man. But I, I, I'm done with this stuff. At this point, I'm not even gonna mention Obama. The the stuff that's going on in marriage, I'm just through all that because no one listens, no one cares. If we don't care, the whole world don't care. No one cares, man. But like everybody said, people have a choice. People all are, are serving the Jesus Christ, the Son of God, or they all hail to Satan to follow of Lucifer. You know what I'm saying, folks. So be very careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. And when you do get it, then you know uh, uh, you got to take a credit and know what what's what's was off of the grant will be expelled out of it blowing your mind. All right, fellas and ladies, be careful. Man, be careful and stay safe. All right? And that comes from your boy, Domination. All right? Here's your boy, YouTube. This is Domination. This is back of the basic chunk of the deuce. This is how we do it, Texas, baby. Till next time, all right? Peace.